Ted Cruz goes on to CNN, uh, and apparently the morning show there has realized, yeah, when Soledad O'Brien was doing confrontational interviews, the morning show actually did better in the ratings. We might want to go in that direction. So the happy fluffy stuff, not so much anymore. Hard hitting interviews, yes. Great. I don't want to, don't get me wrong, I love that they've gone in that direction. And I think Chris Cuomo actually here did a terrific job. Chris, have at it. In my view, coming together to stop Obamacare is the essence of pragmatism because it is self-evident this isn't working. Nobody's defending it. And the reasonable, common-sense thing to do is simply to start over and to say this is killing jobs and over 5 million people losing their health insurance, premiums skyrocketing across the country. This isn't working. Let's start over. How can we say that it's not working when it isn't implemented yet? How can you say premiums are skyrocketing when they haven't put the plans into effect yet? You're being a little dangerous with how much political spin you put on something that's so central to the well-being of so many families? Well, I appreciate the adjective you toss my way. Uh, you, you know, John Adams famously said, facts are stubborn things. Here's some facts. About 100,000 people have signed up and gotten new insurance under Obamacare. About 5 million people have lost their insurance because of Obamacare. Those are facts. Now, uh, he's right that all this is in prelude to what is going to happen in 2014. Chris Cuomo is right, okay? So I love that as uh, Ted Cruz is about to basically misdirect you, he says, facts are stubborn things. And he ought to be familiar with that because he keeps running into them all the time. So I love that Chris Cuomo was like, wait a minute now, it hasn't happened yet, yet you tell me it's destroying the country and the rates are going up, et cetera, right? Now you might, and, and it's fair to argue over, hey, listen, when do those get implemented? Is, do you already know about it because you've got the notices from your policy? I understand all that. I actually like the second part of this even better. Listen to this challenge here because it reminds me of what we talked about with Chris Christie yesterday. Like when they are challenged on, okay, yes, that's fine. You tell me this is all terrible, et cetera. We can disagree on you know, what you claim are facts, but tell me what it is that you would do. Let's find it. When I, when I go back to Texas, I travel the state, and, and I see people all the time who, who come up to me, men and women across Texas, and, and they grab me by the shoulder, and, and they're afraid. They say, they, they say, Ted, you know, I just lost my health insurance. I've got a child with diabetes. I need my health insurance. I'm scared. Please stop this from happening. Those are real facts. And what do you say to them, Senator? When they say, I please help me, what is the fix that you offer them? I looked at the list of bills that you've sponsored. There's not one that offers a solution to the current problems with health care except to get rid of the existing law. Is that enough? <laughs> well, that's the only solution that will work. They wouldn't get it back. You don't think the that you have a responsibility as a U.S. Senator to do better than that in terms of offering a solution for what to do next? Uh, well, I, I, I appreciate you're your trying to lecture me in the morning. No, Thank no, no, that. none at all, Senator. I'm worried. The same as you. Anybody who looks at the situation has worries. Families uh, need health sir, insurance. Sir, if you're worried, did you speak out uh, for the five million people who have lost their health Absolutely. insurance? Absolutely. We've you been covering out? it doggedly. We've been covering it doggedly, and you know that. I'm sure you watch the show. The problem is I don't have the power to fix it. You do. That's what a U.S. Okay. senator does is you sponsor law. You know this. It's not a lecture. It's a concern. I'm asking what are okay. you going to do about it? Well, and, and, and I share that concern and, and have every day been working to highlight the millions of people who've lost their job because of Obamacare. In addition to that, you want a positive, affirmative solution. You know, the single best thing we can do is expand competition. Let people purchase health insurance across state lines. If you want to expand access, what you want to do is increase choices and drive down cost. What Obamacare does is decreases choices and drives up cost. All right, I'm going to get to his explanation in a second. But first, God, when he first asked him, what would you do? And we have that, and Cruz, that smug guy, he never gets caught off guard. Right? He's always got full of ants, pocket full of answers. <gasps> Wait, come again? I mean, but I don't want to fix the problem. <laughs> like, you're, I want to get rid of Obamacare because I'm a, actually help you in some ways and would take away money from my beloved donors is it and he, but you told me this whole long story about all oh, this guy in Texas and he's got a health care problem so my question to you isn't what you hate my question isn't what you think doesn't work what would work to help that guy in Texas and then he's like how dare you lecture me and I love what Chris Cuomo said there he said well that's what a US senator does you're supposed to legislate and give the solution. If you think that guy in Texas is suffering, tell me how we fix it. I, I, 
I appreciate you're your trying to lecture me in the morning. No, Thank no, you no, that. none at all, Senator. I'm more. That was great. Okay, I'm going to yell at you. <laughs> okay, because he didn't have an answer, did you? Finally, after a couple minutes, he composed himself. Oh, right, right. Our talking point on this was competition across state lines. That's what we, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. By the way, do you know why they say that? The idea isn't to increase competition. If it was, I would be massively in favor of it. I'm for more competition. By the way, public option would give you competition to private companies. That would be great. They hate that competition. They despise that competition. The reason they want you to be able to buy across state lines is because then the state with the lowest regulation is where all the insurance companies would go. And they'd say, hey, I'm in Delaware, but you could buy it in California, Hawaii, Montana, it doesn't matter. And in Delaware, they didn't do any regulation at all. I could totally screw with your uh, insurance, and then when you actually get sick, totally screw you over. That's why they want to be able to be, have you buy insurance across state lines. Not to lower the price so that they can get rid of the regulation so the private corporations can do whatever they want with your insurance, and then you won't have any choice over it. Now, you know what? I'd even give them that option if they gave me the public option. And so you like competition? All right, do your scam and give me a public uh, option. No, 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 no. We all of a sudden they don't want the competition. All of a sudden they're not that interested in the free market and for you to get a choice. The reality is they don't give a damn what your health care problem is. They don't care what kind of insurance you have. They have no intention of fixing it. They never had a plan to fix it. All they care about is, whatever you do, we hate Obama, don't do Obamacare, and for Christ's sake, don't cover those 30 million people who are uninsured, because we don't give a damn about them and we don't make a nickel from them. That's what the Republican Party is about, and I'm glad that Chris Cuomo went a long way there to at least show the American people on television for a change that that's what Ted Cruz is all about.